What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another What's Coming Monday video and this is going to be a big one. We've got two huge players that are going to be coming on Monday and of course one of them is going to have Fortress. Now we're just fresh off Eto and Boyan who are really really good. Samuel Eto lads definitely is one of the best in the game but also we've just kind of gone up and up and up with the offensive stats of these players. You've got the offensive genius Fritz, Alvarez and Gakpo. Some of the stats here lads they're all in the 90s. It's, it's crazy. So we did also have a look ahead as well on the DB and other cards that are going to be in this selection. And of course we do have Gramaldo who's going to be good, Silva's going to be good. But it's all about the big boys. Lillian Turam and Patrick Vieira and Xabi Alonso. Vieira and Turam lads are going to be endgame. There's no doubt about it. You've got Fortress Turam and you've got double boosters on both of them. They're going to be endgame. Patrick Vieira is the obvious choice. I know people that have been waiting months to get another crack at Vieira. And I think that Konami are going to make serious cha-ching when this player comes out on Monday. Now, 35 levels, he might not have 35 levels. That's kind of what the rumors are at the moment. Um, and we'll have to see if he does have 35 levels. But that's just a quick look at his stats there. If he does have those stats, if he does have those levels to get those stats there. 99 tackle and 99 aggression when you do give him the extra booster. And 85 speed and acceleration, 90 physical contact. However... After playing with both Vieira and Toram, lads, I think for most people, Vieira is going to be obviously the easy option. But Toram, as you see here, Toram is absolutely insane in the last couple of weeks, man. He's just crazy good. Him and Cannavaro, in my opinion, now are two of the top best centre backs in the game, along with maybe Maldini and Nesta, and of course Araujo. But this, this is a quick example of what his stats could look like with the 35 levels. Now, of course, he's also going to have all the player skills, and he is going to have Fortress as well. So it's going to be very interesting. These players, lads, there's no doubt, man. I, I think that if you're playing the game now, you're going to probably spin for these. Um, and that's going to be a wider conversation that we have. I'm also working on a video for, you know, the lag and the server issues at the moment as well. Now, I already do have the old school Patrick Vieira, the single booster, first booster Patrick Vieira. That's a look at his stats there. Obviously, there's a couple of stats that don't align up. And obviously, the new one, if he does have 35 levels, is going to be a little bit more monstrous. And we did have to throw on aerial superiority and blocker on this Patrick Vieira as well. But the big thing is that this Vieira that I have is a destroyer versus the new one, which is going to be an anchorman. So that's going to be something that we'll have to discuss on Monday. We'll do the live stream. Lillian Toram is more of a kind of like, you know, more of a kind of a same, same to same. There's no real difference between him. He's got huge stats. Obviously, his speed and acceleration can go even higher on the new booster. And I think Toram could be the pick of the pack. I know Vieira, listen, lads, I've said it all along. I personally think Vieira is the best pound for pound player in the game. I think he's the most important player that you can have in your squad. He's got the longest legs. You can't get past him if you are able to defend manually. And he's just insane. Xavi Alonso as well to round it off. He's got the dueling plus two. And we're going to throw him on with the manager, his own manager, which is himself. Again, this kind of this is a kind of carry that could be a little bit underrated. You give him the technique booster here, you're going to have ball control and dribbling, tight possession and low pass all at the 90 or 95. He does have every passing skill that you could possibly want with the new visionary pass as well, or the, the showtime visionary, visionary pass as well. So it is going to be interesting. But as I said, we do have a wider discussion to have about these players. Will we start to see now like commonplace 105, 106 overall players? Or are we just going to have this as the new kind of normal now? 103, 104 for all of these players. Let me know what you guys think. And of course, let me know. Will you spin or will you skip? I'm interested to know because I think that this is going to be a very popular pack. I think people have been waiting for Vieira for quite a while. And obviously throwing Toram in there as well. It's a big double pack for people if they're looking to have an endgame squad from here until eFootball 26. In saying that, with the way the gameplay is at the moment, boys... Think long and hard about it, man, because some of the players, you know, instead of feeling like Maldini, they're feeling like Harry Maguire at the back. So, yeah, we'll talk about it on Monday. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll catch you in the live stream.